Let's solve the following numeric puzzle step by step. The sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 75. What is the value of the smallest of these three numbers? So how do we approach such a numeric puzzle? Well, first, we look at the sentence and try to abstract the pieces of information that we are given. In this case, we see that we have a sum, so adding numbers together. We add three numbers together, but not any numbers, three consecutive odd numbers. And adding them together would give us 75. And with this information, we need to find the value of the smallest of these numbers. So at this point, these pieces of information are still captured inside this sentence that is written in natural language. Our task now is to abstract these pieces of information and translate them into the language of mathematics, which then allows us to write down a mathematical equation, which we can solve to find our solution. So first of all, we have a sum. Well, a sum is just adding numbers together. Then we have three consecutive numbers, and three consecutive numbers simply means three whole numbers that follow each other. For instance, one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so on. But also, for instance, 60, 61, and so on and so on. However, in this case, we have three consecutive odd numbers, meaning numbers that if you divide them by two, still give a whole number. Now, of course, this simply means that we cancel out the even numbers. And therefore, odd consecutive numbers would be, for instance, 1, 3, 5, 7, but of course also 21, 23, and so on and so on. Now we have to add three consecutive numbers such that the sum is 75. Adding three consecutive odd numbers, for instance, gives us 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is equal to 9. And this is obviously not equal to 75, so the lowest number cannot be 1. So now that we translated these pieces of information into mathematics, how do we now formulate a mathematical equation such that we can solve it to find the solution. Well, what we can do is even though we don't know the value of the smallest number, we can simply write it down as n, which will be the smallest of these three consecutive numbers. Now we add to this the following odd number, which would be n plus 2. Now why n plus 2 and not n plus 1? Because if n is an odd number, then n plus 1 would be an even number. Therefore, the next number, or this consecutive odd number of n, is n plus 2. Of course, we need to add three consecutive odd numbers together, therefore we add the next odd number, which would be n plus 4, which is of course the previous odd number, n plus 2, plus 2, which is n plus 4. And now we see that the sum of our three consecutive odd numbers has to be equal to 75, which is the last piece of information to form our mathematical equation. And at this point we see that we've written down a mathematical equation that captures all of the pieces of information in our problem statement. And at this point what we need to do of course is to rewrite this equation to find this number n. And this is quite easy to do. Let's first take all of the n's on the left hand side together. We have 1, 2, 3 n's on the left hand side. So we have 3 times n. Then we add all of the numbers together on the left hand side. We have 2 and 4, which add together to be simply 6. And on the right hand side we simply have 75. The next step to isolate n is to bring this plus 6 to the other side of the equality sign. If we do this, then on the left hand side this plus 6 disappears, and on the right hand side it becomes a minus 6 and 75 minus 6 becomes 69. So we simply write on the right hand side 69. Now the next step to isolate n completely is to get rid of this prefactor 3 in front of the n. So what we do is we divide both sides of the equality sign by 3 and we get our final solution. Namely that n is equal to 69 divided by 3 which is 23. So n is equal to 23, and this is the final solution of our puzzle. 
Of course, we can always check whether we made any mistakes or not, simply by plugging in this number into our original equation. This gives us 23 plus n plus 2, which is 23 plus 2, or the next consecutive odd number, 25, plus the next consecutive odd number, n plus 4, is 27. Now, is this indeed equal to 75? And if you use your calculator or you just calculate by head, then you see that this is indeed 75. Because if you take this 23 and 27 together, you simply get 50 plus 25 is 27. So we didn't make any mistakes and we indeed solved this puzzle. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.